So when we talk about this initiative to bring energy to those modern energy services to those who don't have it, uh, 1.3 billion without access to electricity, 2.6 billion without uh, modern heating and cooking, so using uh, traditional biomass, that feels like, oh, are we talking about charity? Are we talking about international aid? Is, just, is this just um, more money that is just going to go from north to south and we're never going to see any real benefits and, and it may not even work? This is profoundly different because the technologies are now so much cheaper uh, and the, those economies are on the cusps and, and many of them are taking off quite aggressively. So what we're actually talking about now is business opportunities. These are bottom of the pyramid business opportunities, if you like. Uh, the business opportunities are extraordinary. An example, Africa currently spends $9 billion a year on kerosene for lighting. Right now, at current oil prices, it makes sense for that kerosene lighting to be replaced by solar lighting. That's a huge opportunity. That's a $9 billion a year cash flow that should be redirected into an industry. Now, do you want to be part of that? Or do you want to just watch that happen and somebody else to build the hundreds of millions or the billion dollar business opportunities? So the private sector has an opportunity to be at the table as a new generation of businesses are built. So if we can provide sustainable energy for all, the most noticeable thing is that we will catalyze another wave of global growth, economic growth. And the interesting thing about this wave of economic growth, this industrial revolution if you like, is that it won't be one which saps the Earth's resources or which is iniquitous and which concentrates uh, wealth and lifestyle and, and benefits amongst few. It will be a wave of economic growth which actually benefits uh, everybody and does it without uh, detracting from our environment.